All right. Wow. It's Friday night and I am fashionably late. Uh, I apologize. Usually the German side of me is uh, pretty punctual. How are you? Good evening, beautiful people. About to get on Instagram live, about to get on Facebook live. I think we have the whole gamut covered. I got my boy Brandon up in DC right now. He's handling the production on that end. We got good looking Anush right here uh, in Miami with me. And wherever you guys are all joining from, I hope you're well. I hope you're healthy. I hope you're sexy. And you're ready for the celebration of Noruz 1400. Anush, are you ready for Noruz? Yeah! All right. That was a delay. I'm ready for it. I'm, that I'm was waiting a delayed, for Sabzi Pulamahi. That was a delayed excitement. I didn't really appreciate that. Uh, Sabzi Pulamahi. Uh, so, yeah. So, <laughs> so guys, today, today is a very khodamuni, khodamuni, khodamuni little hangout. But I hope you enjoy it. Uh, because I get to talk about the amazing guests that we're about to have for the celebration of No Ruse. I get to talk about all the special nuances of the celebration of No Ruse because I know some of you are still not fully, fully familiar with what it is. Um, and hold on one second, I have to send this link to my family so they can watch too. <laughs> um, anyway, so for those who don't know yet, uh, the celebration of No Ruse 1400 is something that really kind of uh it started when i realized that i cannot possibly have noru's come and go and us not do something to get us together to enjoy each other's company to bring us closer together to celebrate our culture to celebrate our people to celebrate our amazing talented artists entertainers comedians musicians uh creators uh fashion designers um i don't know man so many we we really have an incredible group of people all around the world and I was like you know what if there's ever a time in the history of this world that we can truly unify all Persians around the world or the hyphenated Persians shout out to all the half Persians in the world shout out to all the people who love Persians and love the culture and love the history and love the people the ones that always go to the country and they speak so highly of how kind the people are and how we can't judge a country by by their polit politicians you know so really this this program the celebration of Nowruz was uh, my, my team's attempt to bring us all together and make sure that at least on this one day, this one time in history where we're going to have the most amount of people that have no events, no concerts to go to, bring them all together and celebrate us, celebrate the best of the best that we have, uh, hopefully shed a much brighter, more positive light about who we are as Persians, who we are as a culture, who we are as a, as a people as a whole. And... Um, and celebrate you know like it's been an incredibly incredibly ridiculous uh year persians missed out last year's persian new year too so this would have been our second noruz um that we'd be missing out on but we're not going to miss it anymore because we have this and we have you and we have you and i appreciate you i appreciate you i appreciate you and because i know many of you guys are just eager to find out who these incredible guests are they're going to be coming i appreciate all the guests that have accepted my invitation of being a part of this uh, historic, honestly historic, historic live stream. Uh, I'm so proud of my entire team that has gotten us to this point. We still have a whole week to go, but I mean, it's incredible what, what, what they've done. And um, let's just start. Honestly, I just want to kind of go one by one. This is in no particular order whatsoever. This is going to be great. All right, this is exciting. I'm actually very nervous. I feel like this is like the draft or something, and I'm like, you know, announcing uh everybody but everybody is number one everybody's freaking number one on this list i mean like this is not one of those things that there's a hierarchy every single person that i've invited in my eyes they're awesome awesome people you know and so let me kind of just start off with saying um we have who do i want to start off with? this is fun okay so first of all there's going to be three types of guests that we're going to have you guys like how i'm building up anticipation because you're wondering like who's coming who's coming i'm building up anticipation work with me here um there's going to be three types of guests that this 24-hour live stream is going to have there's going to be some people that i'm having like lengthier 10 15 minute conversations because they're doing something really interesting they're doing something really cool or their story is pretty awesome they're they're making something great whether it's music or art or design or fashion or movie or show or, or whatever it is I'm having them for like 10-15 minutes, we talk about what they're doing, they talk about the past year, they talk about Nuru's uh, messages, you know. And then I'm going to have a lot of people that are incredibly talented singers, rappers, uh, musicians, uh, dancers, 
um, that are going to be doing like a one-off performance. We just come and short, sweet, hello, an amazing performance. Thank you so much. Next. And then we also have people that are going to be doing certain presentations. You know, we're going to have individuals that are going to show uh, the entire uh, half scene, which for those of you that don't know, the half scene is like a very traditional spread that is inside the household of every Persian uh, during the Nowruz celebration, which is like a almost like a two-week period. And they're going to explain the significance of all the elements. By the way, if you're watching this, can you like comment, say what's up, say how you doing, tell, tell me where you're at. Uh, can you tag your favorite awesome people? Like, who's the most awesome people that you love that's Persian, that's representing us, that's, like, rep like you really, really passionate about what they're doing to represent the Persian culture and all that stuff? Like, I want to tag some names, you know? Like, so, so like, comment, whatever. If you're on YouTube, subscribe to our page. Support us in that way. This is a 24-hour free live stream, you know? So, like, we, we, we would love your support. And I'm going to be unveiling T-shirts from Noru's, by the way, that we're going to be selling and hoodies. Pretty damn awesome. Shout out to Kafa, one of our sponsors. Great Armenian coffee. Um, but yeah, so the program is going to be like a revolving door of really unique individuals, all with different stories. Some coming a little bit for shorter, some for like 10, 15 minutes. And then we have a lot of people who are not available like that day because it is Noru's that they're going to be sending some personalized Noru's messages. Uh, so we have a ton of those. And um, and then we just have a bunch of surprise people that are also going to be coming to give some Noru's greetings. So. Really, it's a 24-hour variety show. It's 24 hours that no matter where you are in the world on Saturday, March 20th, if you turn on your phone, your laptop, you put it on your big screen, you get to watch 24 hours of Awesome People podcast. If you're not familiar with my Awesome People podcast yet, it's literally a podcast that we get to have great conversations, deep conversations, authentic conversations with people that I find to be awesome in different walks of life. And... Um, We've done 21 episodes so far, and guess who my next guest is for Awesome People that we're actually filming tomorrow? I announced it yesterday, but I'm so excited that I announced it again, and I have an ulcer just getting ready and preparing for it tomorrow, but I'm so freaking excited. Tomorrow I get to have the honor of having an authentic, genuine, raw conversation with the Crown Prince, Reza Pahlavi, and the Crown Princess, uh, Yasemin Pahlavi. Uh, which is just mind-blowing to me still that I get to have this honor to have this privilege um, These are two incredible unique um, Human beings and in, in the history of our of our country and I have no doubt that there's differences in opinion with regards to politics and all that stuff But I don't give a damn about politics. I give a damn about the fact that these are two human beings one of them which had absolutely no choice in being born the king of Iran and has had to live that life the way that he did. Now, whatever his father did or he has done politically, it is what it is. Tomorrow we're talking about family, we're talking about love, we're talking about health, we're talking about mental health. It's, it's really something that I'm extremely, extremely eager about. But you know why? I'm eager about it because this is what you all want. This is, this is literally like, these are the people that you wanted me to uh, have conversations with. These are the people that you, these are the questions that you want to have asked. I know there's some people that wanted to ask about the political aspect and stuff, but this is not that conversation, you know, and it's because, like, I really want this conversation to help some people uh, in some shape or form, whether it's um, helping them in their emotional state, helping them out and just, like, from a positivity standpoint or inspirational standpoint, um, you know, just historical buffs, you know, that just want to kind of get to know, uh, you know, these type of individuals. So, um Major thank you to the, the Pahlavis for giving me this opportunity, and I hope to not screw it up. Uh, which, by the way, if you guys have any questions uh, for that you think I should ask, I'm still taking some questions. If it's really, really good, I might ask it tomorrow. Uh, mention it below. And if you just joined us, hello, how are you? Welcome. This is Iman. Hello, hello. Like, comment, and um, I just want to build this community with you guys, you know? So uh, going back to what I was saying as far as the guest list, let me actually start giving out some names. I'm just going to go in no particular order because I want to be respectful to everybody. Uh, but just because I just got off the phone with him like an hour ago, I'm not trying to name drop, but I literally remember. So pop star Andy Madodion. So anybody who, who was jamming to great Persian music in the 80s and 90s especially, uh, I know you have a lot of memories with him. He's a dear friend of mine who's always, always supported uh, many things that I've done, dating back to when I was doing producing the Persian version of American Idol star musician so like he was one of my judges back then for two seasons uh one of the hum most humblest dude in in the in the biz 
And so I'm grateful for him to be joining us for a nice little conversation. And just because she's one of his good friends, Bita Milanian is uh, just a queen in the Persian community. She's going to be doing the whole half scene presentation and is going to be talking about the significance of all the elements of the half scene, which I find to be pretty dope. Um, so I appreciate her because because Bita, man, like, First of all, she's a hustler. She's a boss lady. She's a she's an executive. She's a she's just such a light in this community. Such a jewel in the community. Incredible energy. Incredible positivity. So so grateful to have her as a big sister in originally the industry, but now just in life, you know. And I wish that we were in the same city so we can hang out more together. Uh, her husband's amazing, and um, but yeah. So I'm grateful for Bita because she does everything with with class. She does everything with beauty, with love. You know, uh, if you don't if you don't follow her, please do follow her at Bita Milanian. She also has Bita's Kitchen Official, where she makes really great uh, foods and desserts that are healthy and vegan. And she dances and she she's great. Okay, and if you know Bita, uh, show her some love. Say how much you love her, because I know you guys do. She's a great, great, great girl, and she she deserves to have her community grown too because all she's doing is cultivating our community in, in, in itself. And and really. That's what the Celebration Notice is about, guys. I mean, we can all help water uh, the plants that everybody else is growing in the community. You know, Bita is doing it in her way. Let's help her in, in watering uh, the seeds in her garden. You know, the seeds in her, our garden are the people that follow her content that she makes happy, you know. And so, like, those are the people that also need support. So make sure you guys follow her. And if you like her content, show her some love. Drop some hearts. Um, up next... Do you guys know Tabe Atkins? Tabe Atkins is 16 years old and he is the youngest um, vegan yoga teacher in uh, the entire country. Um, what an incredible dude he is. Um, I just, I just, I would love to be like 15, 16 and already know what I'm destined to do. Like, I feel like that makes life so much easier. Uh, but, you know, he does yoga. He's, he's going to be doing a guided meditation session on Nodus where he's going to be doing about 20 minutes of uh, a meditation that's about love and kindness and stuff so uh and he's half persian and half black and it's like a, a beautiful combination his mother soil is just what a lovely woman she is and i can't wait to continue to get to know both of them better so they're going to be joining us again uh we have varta uh, Ari ariabon from uh varta melon if you don't know what varta melon is just look up varta v-a-r-t-a varta and then uh melon just like watermelon and she she makes some really cool um, sweets and desserts and putting like a unique modern touch to it. So I, I really encourage you guys to go check out some of her stuff. She's going to be sharing her Noru sampler platter. So it's going to be pretty cool. Um, Nazani Noor is going to be joining us. Uh, I had Nazani Noor as a guest on Awesome People last week. And she was a treat. She's one of the judges of Persia's Got Talent. I've known her for a long, long time. I've seen her grow in the acting field and the content creation field and and doing this awesome judging of Persia's Got Talent with other judges being Arash and Ebi and Mahnaz Afshar. Uh, uh, you know, it's a star-studded lineup of judges and that program has been doing really, really great with really quality production. And so I'm really happy for them. And just because I see my, my Kado right now, I want to say what's up to, to the guys at my Kado, especially my dear friend Siamaki Kahramani, because he's actually also one of my guests that are going to be joining us uh, on Noru's. Siamak is really like one of my brothers from another mother. I, I kind of see him as same stuff, but on the West Coast, he did so many great things, helping out with the Noor Festival, which was like the film festival for independent films. Uh, he has represented multiple artists and been involved with so many different um, uh, concerts and events. And I mean, just really a hardworking family man that I respect and admire so much. And what, what him and his partners uh, they created is the My Kodo app, and I can't wait to talk more about it on Noru's. But basically, it's like the Persian version of Cameo, and um, I mean that pretty much speaks for itself. If you know what Cameo is, this is the Persians. They got the best of the best, uh, having profiles up there, so that you can not only have that be a gift to somebody else that might be a fan of Sogand or or whoever it is that they have, but there's also a component of charity that's included, which is an incredible thing that I really admire and. I was honored to be asked to be a part of their talent list. And so uh, I'm having 100% of any donations that anyone ever have go to 
uh, the nonprofits that's listed on my profile over there. So kudos to the guys at My Cardo app, and I can't wait to talk to him more about that uh, on March 20th. Um, you know who else is going to be here, actually, at Noru's? This is going to be great. Who here knows Mahbube? If you know Mahbube, she is like um, gone super viral in the past year with her hilarious character, uh, well, of Mahbube. Uh, and, and the character behind... And so, first of all, Mahbube will be here in character next, next week, uh, which is hilarious to me. Not hilarious, it's awesome to me. And so, I'm definitely looking forward to having that conversation. And, um, you know, she is basically... Um, how do I explain? Uh, who, if you, for people who have never seen Mahbube, how do you possibly explain who Mahbube is? But basically, just imagine like a typical Iranian migrant, <laughs> migrant woman, uh, but exaggerated uh, to the max, of course, because uh, Iranian moms, especially immigrant moms, are amazing. And, um, you know, she, her skits are incredible. So you can just kind of follow her on Mahbube. Um, I want to say Mahbube Official Comedy, either Mahbube Official Comedy or Mahbube Comedy Official. But uh, but she's she's just a hoot, and so the the person behind that incredible character is uh, Atena Burbolian. So she's going to be joining us as well again as Mahbube. So that'll be kind of fun. And speaking of people that are going to be coming in character, you guys know Mr. Esfahani. If you guys know Mr. Esfahani, you guys are going to see Mr. Esfahani come join us. Um, it's going to be a hoot for sure. And the person behind Ms. Esfahani is Payam Bani Fas. So you can actually follow him on Instagram, P Bani, P B A N I. And if you have not watched Mr. Esfahani's work or P Bani's work, um, he basically plays like a quintessential Iranian father who's always annoyed at his son for being lazy and taking long showers and stuff like that. It's freaking hilarious. But, uh, but I, I definitely encourage you guys to go uh, check that out, um, his page, uh, P Bani. And let's see where. So I talked about Nazan. Oh, Tara Grammy is going to be a part of this freaking program too. That is one hell of a talented woman. If you are in love with Manija, her, her really hilarious character of an ex exaggerated single woman looking for a Persian woman looking for a husband. Uh, they, they, they have um, her and her friend Shayan Ibrahim, who is a super talented director, they're going to be joining together. Actually, they created like the Persian Bachelor and, like I said, the manager thing. So they're they're going to be dropping a very, very, very special uh, thing um, around Noruz. And uh, if everything works out with the editing that they're working on, we should be doing the premiere of this special uh, at the program. So I can't give away too much more information. You're going to have to check in on Saturday, March 20th, for that one. Um, but but yeah, by the way, so if you're coming on right now, joining, uh, especially if you're on YouTube, I really appreciate you subscribing to our YouTube channel. I have to constantly say that I really, really, really want us to grow our community and it starts with the subscribership. So sorry that I have to always repeat it, but got to do what we got to do. Uh, so yeah, so Tara Grammy, thank you so much for joining. Shayan, thank you so much for joining. Um, switching it up a little bit. Oh, we're definitely going to have a nice little notice message from Maz Jabrani. You know, anytime that Maz is a part of a program, you, you're in for some good laughs. So hopefully you guys will be enjoying um, his participation. And let's see. Hmm. Just jumping around. Well, first of all, I want to give a shout out to my talented friend, Kimia Mohammadi. She performed at our Ready to Work Streamathon two weeks ago with her beautiful voice. And um, she is uh, really, really helping us out with this whole program. You know, like she's very, very well connected in California. Um, She's an incredible uh, dancer as well. And she's um, one of the lead dancers for Nusha Dance Academy, which makes me segue now to the fact that uh, Nusha from the Nusha Dance Academy uh, is blessing us with her presence as well. So I thank Kimia for all of her efforts to help make this program so good, so diverse, so beautiful, and uh, just for caring. You know, like Kimia like genuinely wants this program to be, a, to be great and, and fun. And so she's... She's putting in the work and we really appreciate it. She's basically has become an extended part of our work family. So thank you, Kim Yojun, my hats to you. Uh, and so Nusha Jan, uh, it's gonna be an incredible conversation. I wanna publicly right now say kudos to you for what you've been able to do to, um, to keep the Persian dance alive and uh, proud of you for being so active on social media and bringing that such great, great energy out every single time we do your Instagram lives. Can't wait to have a virtual conversation with you. And we'll be sharing a few videos of um, their, their dances in the program as well. So get, get ready for um, some great entertainment there as well. 
let's see. Um, so switching gears a little bit to a couple of interesting individuals that I've chosen to have. Uh, there's a young lady by the name of Sahar Qureshi. Um, she is 22 years old from London, England, and you just have to find her on Instagram and just look at the art that she's created. Look at the poetry that she reads. Um, look at the the visuals that she creates. I mean, it's really incredible work that she's put put out, and like you can truly sense the love and the passion that she has for Iran, being Iranian. Her the area that she's from, which I think is Boucher. Um, her name is S A H A R, and then last name G H O R I S H I. Her Instagram is a little bit different, but I think if you just look that up, Saha Qureshi. Uh, you can even follow me on Instagram to to search for her. Uh, just look at her work. I promise you, if you look at her work, you're going to be blown away by just how much love and passion this young lady has. And so, like, I wanted to make sure that as many people as possible, they 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 find her and they check her out and all that stuff. So, uh, so happy to have her. She literally confirmed like five seconds ago. So I'm able to share that fun, exciting news. We're going to basically just talk about her love for Iran and like her artistic creativity so looking forward to that for sure uh somebody else that i think has or it's actually a group of people that have a, a super dope instagram page uh there's an instagram page called iran untold and um iran untold is really just a, a mixture of really great things that represent iran in a very positive light so i'll be having sahar Torian, who's going to uh, represent this group of people that uh, are behind Iran Untold. For for the content that they're putting up, guys, I just cannot believe they only have like five, 6,000 followers. And like, it's not, it's not so much that like I judge certain pages by their, their following, but it's just so disappointing when, when I know just how much work goes into every piece of content that like people like Sahar and, and Iran Untold and the many other pages and people that I'm going to be having on. It's just like, man, there's so many people who they just put like, you know some ass and some pictures of their you know naked tops and boom have a couple million followers and then people that are doing such incredible stuff have to work so hard just to get to like two three four five ten thousand followers so these pages like iran untold like i don't know why every iranian wouldn't want to support watching that kind of stuff because it's nothing about politics nothing about religion it's just it's our history it's our culture so uh, kudos to Sahar and the entire group of people, which I don't know them personally at all. I'll just be getting to know Sahar myself personally. Like a lot of these people, not a lot, but some of these people that I, I, I'm having, I genuinely don't, don't know them yet, you know. But I was like, dude, you're awesome people. I want to get to know you. So uh, some of them I'm really kind of getting to know better as I'm introducing them to you guys. But their body of work speaks for itself. So, um, so that's that, Iran Untold. Let me go to another cool person that uh, I have. There's this uh, Instagram page called Little Persian Learning. And I, I, what I liked about their page actually is um, she basically uh, makes half seen items that you would actually have for half seen, but like they are uh, reusable. And so like there's like sustainability aspect involved. And then there's other stuff that you can do to kind of get kids to learn more about uh, the, the half seen. And um, I just think it's a, it's a very nice thing that she's doing. And then when I reach out to her to say, hey, I'd love to have you a part of Noru so we can talk about what it is that you're selling and what you're doing and stuff like that. And she's like, I'd love to, but Iman, I should tell you that I'm actually not Iranian. And I don't know if that hurts the situation or not, uh, but my husband's Iranian and we wanted to teach our Persian, our, our kids Persian and blah, blah, blah. I was like, Rachel, are you kidding me? Oh, sorry, guys. I was like, Rachel, are you kidding me? The fact that you are not Iranian makes you even more amazing can you believe anusha she was actually like apologize not apologizing but needing to clarify that hey by the way i'm american you know but like i love it when like non-iranians marry somebody and they want to learn the language they want to learn the culture and in this case rachel kashif is going in there and creating something that persian children and their parents can actually use for like persian new year so cheers to you it's persian iced tea thank you so much Sogo. how much do you like Sogo's oh my god tea? It, I, I'm telling you, it is the best. She, she needs to bottle, bottle that it. and sell it. Yeah. And so quit it. her daytime job. <laughs> That's all she needs it would, to do. It would, it would definitely be nice. Um, okay, so then we go to, again, we're just hopping around. Uh, and by the way, if you're joining, if you know some awesome people, please tag them in the Instagram and the Facebook. Uh, you know, I still have room for about 10 to 15 other people that we can put in to showcase, to highlight. 
um, all different backgrounds again it doesn't have to be entertainment it doesn't have to be this um so yeah uh moving on let me go to food a little bit i'm gonna have my my boy and girl back again diba and Dalmund rusbe from tadigers they were also part of the ready to workathon uh streamathon excuse me and um they have speaking of great instagram page and great content you need to follow tadigers t-a-h-d-i-g-e-r-s and um they make incredible beautiful videos uh of making beautiful persian food and it's just the way that they do it visually musically um it's it's really um well done class act and make sure they don't spill it this time yeah i know <laughs> man last time if you missed it they literally by accident diva like hit her arms against the the shoot they made spaghetti or whatever and then like it just a whole pot just fell on the floor it was actually the funniest part of the program but i felt bad for the gang in the dc <laughs> studio because i'm yeah. sure they wanted that spaghetti so they're coming prepared team this time around you're going to get all the food the tadigas are coming prepared um so yeah so definitely follow tadigas i highly highly recommend uh you supporting them as well they're doing some beautiful beautiful work um let's go to oh kian the one so kian hassan khan from las las vegas this dude is really incredibly talented where he basically like has modernized excuse me santur that's all i gotta say about that i mean just beautiful music through santur collaborating with poets and stuff like that so uh, i i if you guys can follow him kian the one k-i-a-n the one uh he's going to be joining us for a one-off performance can't wait to uh showcase his work going to uh dance there's two dance groups that i want to acknowledge they're from my hometown of dc uh dr laurel gray from the silk road dance company is going to be there and they're going to have a couple of the videos of their dance group that's going to be performing uh which is also going to be spectacular they have uh performed at uh, the white house when the obamas had the noru celebration uh, so that was a great honor for them and uh, also another uh dance group is going to be Ava Performance Art Group. Ava is a longtime friend of mine, also from the DMV area. Uh, she and her and two of her lady friends are going to be going into the DC studio and performing live a couple of dances throughout the afternoon. And let's see. Who else do I want to go down this list and announce right now? So Jana Ensemble. Uh, that's going to be pretty cool. Jana Ensemble is going to be... Uh, uh, if you guys don't know Jana Ensemble, it's like... Music is so nati, but like also like in a modernized version, very classy, very beautiful. Um, and they are a part of a whole group of, of individuals that the names are Mona Moradi from Toronto and Masa Golmakoni and Amir Ali Kamali, uh, or Kamali, excuse me. So uh, the three of them are going to be there. We're going to have a little chit chat about uh, Jana Ensemble. And we're going to definitely play a couple of their videos, especially one new one that they released for No Ruz. Um, and they're, they're also, they, they tour with Hamid and Nick Pei. So for those of you who are fans of that Sapke Musiri, the category of music, I think you guys are going to love uh, getting to know Jana Ensemble if you don't know them already. But they are super, super well known and so kind, so wonderful. Her, uh, Mona and Faiz, uh, they performed at our Ready to Work streamathon a couple weeks ago. It's beautiful stuff, beautiful. Uh, going from dance to music, Let's go to the hip hop artist going to be joining us, Shahine Samadi. Shahin Samadi, which you can just find under the name S H A H E E N, and then Samadi S A M A D I. That's a unique cat right there too. He's he basically is using his hip hop uh, love and skills and talent, and really just raps primarily about being Iranian, Iran, Persian culture, Persian history, and you know he spits a good game. And so like I definitely wanted him to perform a can, homie can you can i trouble you for uh, a little bit too i am and then we have it to you thank you and we have another one in the fridge too um starting to lose my voice already um so yeah so looking forward to having shaheen samadi be sure to try to follow him as well and let's go now thank you so much Anish. Yep. now uh then uh, oh, amir khostavon amir khostavon is a producer and a composer um really great 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 musician and such a super nice guy um he's in san jose he's going to be joining us again he performed at the streamathon as well too and bless us with his musical talents he's going to be doing it once again uh he actually was known previously as amir london some of you guys might have remembered his biggest hit song roger lab i don't know if massey is watching but one of my good friends massey i know she definitely used to love that song 
back when um when we had him come to dc to perform actually i'm good right now thank you um we me and tehran for those of you who know tehran uh we had a uh, a birthday party for him at the manor oriental and amir came and he sang roja lab right there and i remember my friend massey was right in the front the whole time just like this <laughs> well puria her husband was there too but so um all right so let's see who am i still in need of saying oh okay fereiduna farandus you know fereiduna farandus by any chance it's okay if you don't <laughs> i'm sorry but i don't how dare you don't know anyways but um <laughs> I wasn't expecting Anushina. I know Fariduna Farrokhzad. <laughs> oh yeah, Rosh Hashanah. But Fariduna Farandus is actually a, a beautiful Sha'ir. And like, uh, he just like recites the most beautiful poetry. And he's going to be having a segment where he's going to say a beautiful piece. And he's such okay. a funny dude, such a great guy. Um, he like sells his CDs. Like his voice is just so beautiful and so like boom, you know. And like, uh, it's, it's a memorable voice for sure. So I appreciate Fariduna Farandus to be there. Um, also, this is probably a good time. To, do you know Madrasa Musha? <laughs> no? You don't know Madrasa Musha? I guess not. It's okay. It's I don't person. think I was in Iran when that So, happened. So I wasn't even there. But even I remember there was like cartoons of like Madrasa Musha. It was like the Sesame Street of like Is Iranians. that a pre revolution or? Yeah, probably pre revolution. But that's crazy how you lived there. I didn't, I'm not telling you. But, anyways, yeah. uh, that's neither here nor there. So, anyway, this. I was watching Six Million Dollar Man. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, this guy, this gentleman, Ardalona Mofid, created Madrasa Musha. I mean, he's a legend, you know. And so, he's going to be having a, a segment as well. I mean, if you know who I'm talking about with Madrasa Musha, the fact that the person. Imagine if I said, hey, the creator of Sesame Street is going to be joining us. <gasps> that's equivalent. No joke. So I'll be excited to see Miss Piggy. <laughs> Kermit. Um, so yeah, so that's that's who we're gonna have. Um, uh, Hoda Court is gonna be uh, also reciting some poetry. Really appreciate her being a part of the show. Uh, Nasser Ovesi. Uh, he is. You know Nasser Ovesi? Oh, so mate. He's an artist, right? Yes. Offerin Anush. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but it's like the most beautiful, like gold plated oh. horse type of designs you know yeah. so he's going to be uh sending a notice message to all persons around the world now sir obviously is a tr li living he's legend. in iran or here no he's in dc actually so yeah so uh oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> how's that shit doing here um and so by the way hello to everybody i just saw Ma oh mahta of john durud perfect time i was like do i know this person there's mahta um it was great talking to you, Matt of June. So great to be connected. Is it, to is you. it related to the OVC, the the team side OVC? That I don't know, to be honest with you. That I don't know. You're gonna have to ask him. But um, but yeah. So hold on. Let me see if I have who else do I have right here. So there, there's a few more people that I think I can. So Shabnam Rezai. This is a person that you might not know by name, but um. First of all, she was the creator of this really cool cartoon called Bobak and Friends. About 15 years ago, she wanted to make a cartoon that younger generation of Iranians, when they're growing up, they can actually learn more about the Persian uh, culture, but to be explained in English. So the characters is like Babako, Batkhalo, Fulana, Bisa, and the cartoon, good quality cartoon too. Like it was actually like produced very nicely with a series of stories. And, um, and now she, she runs Big Bad Boo Studios and she has a couple of great, great, cool projects coming up again uh, that I 100% wanted her to talk about. But, you know, her, her Bobak and Friends, like the Noru's episode, is something that I believe that you can YouTube. And so I just wanted to make sure that for Noru's, there's uh, elements for children as well uh, to enjoy or the parents to kind of be aware that there are people like Shabnam Reza and her team that are creating some pretty dope content um, that I think is, is, is watch worthy, you know. And, and let, me, let me take a moment right here to kind of explain how the celebration of Nowruz is attended for all ages, you know, like uh, not every part of it is going to be enjoyable by everybody, obviously for all ages, but I wanted to make sure there's a little bit of something for everyone. And primarily because Nowruz is a freaking, freaking family affair. You know, I mean, it's a family affair that I wanted to make sure that whether you have a 103 year old father, or if you have a three year old granddaughter or little sister that you guys can sit around together and, and watch, a wide range of things you know one minute we'll be talking about cartoons one minute we'll be talking about uh children activities one one time we're talking to the creator of the most ultimate children 
entertainment show in the history of Iranian television, Ardalan and Mufid. So you know what I mean? Like there's just so much uh, variety. And then of course we have musical performances, we have dance performances, we have uh, half scene presentations. We're going to be having poetry recitals. Um, really the, 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 the list goes on and on and on. And uh, I'm also going to be having um, Mona from Inglisi Farsi, who also creates uh, bilingual English and Farsi um, content, like for children and stuff, which is also really beautiful. Um, you know, her her audience is predominantly predominantly females, 25 to 45, who have children uh, and and live in America, Canada, or Australia and Iran, and that they're interested, like in. Uh, further in their knowledge of their Persian heritage and are usually like not literate in Persian script, you know So I think that's freaking amazing that that's what Mona is doing. So um, And again kudos to my friend Kimia Mohammadi for connecting me with Mona uh, Which let me go ahead and say one more thing ladies and gentlemen There are a lot of awesome people in the world I still have room to bring these awesome people on our virtual stage and that we work united and present them together if you have somebody that you think is incredible, that based on all these awesome people that I'm mentioning right now that are already lending their name, their talents, their reputation to this live stream, please message me, contact me and be like, hey, you know what? I have a great connection with so-and-so. You know, please do that. Let's help, help me, help us, help us make it an incredible Nodu celebration. What else do you guys got going on for Nodus? Honestly, like right now, what, what else do you have going on? On Saturday, March 20th, as we celebrate the year 1400, a brand new century, what else do you have right now? So please, not only give us the pleasure of participating, consider this program as yours. Share the link to the, the YouTube live stream. Inside of this link, if you're watching on YouTube, if you go to the YouTube link that we're, I'm, I'm actually going on right now here, in the description, I have a few links that are um, that there for you to click on where you can support us. There's literally options of, um, first of all, clicking on the actual live stream for YouTube. Share that with your friends and family. All they have gotta do is set the reminder, click subscribe. It's a free program, 24 hours, you know? Um, in, in a little bit, I'm gonna be doing the unveiling and the unpackaging of these awesome Norus shirts and hoodies. If you like these shirts and hoodies that I'm about to open up and share, please buy them. Shout out to Jeremy McLively from Custom Inc for hooking it up man for truly hooking it up love you i appreciate you custom ink kudos to you for supporting small people like me um call, you know people that are trying to do stuff for the community and culture kudos to custom ink man shout out to them uh, so yeah so this has got to be like a collaborative effort you know like this is truly going to be epic but it could be a hundred thousand times more epic if you decide that hey you know what i want to join iman's team and help them out for the next nine days. I want to help them promote. I want to help them, uh, you know, connect to, to blah, 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 because they have a big network. They have an email, email list that's really big. You know what I mean? Like, you genuinely could make this your own, you know? You can give ideas on how to make it better. Talk to me. Talk to us. Give us feedback. Let us know, like, how, how we can make this event better. Who do you want to be a part of it? Who do you want me to invite? Maybe I forgot some people. I literally have lost um, the ability to have enough time at this point to... Um, to to call all these people you know it takes a lot of time to personally invite and explain and back and forth help me be, be like Kimia who has connected us with Nusha uh, uh, from Nusha Dance Academy help me to connect me to people like Mona like she did you know so it's all about unite and conquer that's why the name of the company is Unite and Conquer so let's do it together if you're watching on YouTube please subscribe if you're watching on Instagram click the link in my bio go to the YouTube page uh, click subscribe you know these are the little things that if you're wondering like how can you help without having to spend a single dollar but just do that trust me likes comments subscribes ringing the bell believe it or not this is how every youtube page that you see that has millions of followers it all starts with people like you that believe in what we're doing that want to support what we're doing that want to be the beneficiary of what we're doing i'm not asking you to support us for shits and giggles i'm asking that if you like the content that you're seeing if you want to continue seeing stuff then then do it for us. Do it for you. Do you know what I mean? So, um, oh, Amy is mentioning uh, to interview Shohre Aghdashlu. That's a great recommendation. One, she's 100% on my list. I actually have had the pleasure of uh, getting to know her and her husband, Hushan Getozi. Uh, definitely on my list. But for example, I literally have had her on my list of people that I need to reach out. I have not had time. I've literally, I've ha I genuinely have had ulcers in the last day or two. 
just because it's so overwhelming and so stressful, and especially with the interview that I'm having, the conversation that I'm having tomorrow with Crown Prince Reza Pahlavi and 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 uh, Crown Princess uh, Yasami Pahlavi, like the combination of having that distinguished honor to have that conversation, but also producing this live stream that's 24 hours of programming. Like I got ulcers up the wazoo right here, and it hurts. But I love doing what I'm doing, and we're going to keep on grinding. But anything that anyone is interested in helping out with, please don't be shy. I'll leave that as that. But yeah, the shirts, I'm going to be sending you. The, the link is there to the custom ink link, so you can just purchase right now. Enjoy these shirts. Um, and, and just have it as a memento, memento for or keepsake forever, that you were part of this, that you were part of the, the celebration of Notice 1400. Like, I want to see people wearing it 10 years down the road and, and to just tell me, hey, I was there. <laughs> How awesome would that be, man? Damn. Um, and then um, there's, there's also, I put the link to the Facebook event invite. Please, like this Facebook event invite, in my opinion, should be going viral because there's no other events going on. So all you guys have to do, please, is share it. I haven't even had a ch the time to sit down and invite 500 of my Facebook friends to the thing. Can you guys believe that? That's how crazy uh, it's been. So these are the little things that I would greatly appreciate you helping out with. Um, Salam Jam, I see, I see your message. Please give more advance notice for your live shows. Yes, ma'am, I definitely will. Um, I did mention this morning that I was going to do this, uh, but I'm giving advance notice right now. Next Saturday, March 20th, from 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for 24 hours straight, my team and I and my incredible list of rock stars, awesome people, are going to be at your service and hope to see you there. So, yeah, so Saturday, March 20th. So the last thing that I want to say, and again, I don't want to be that type of person here, but we did create this GoFundMe campaign a couple of weeks ago when we did the Ready to Work 24-hour streamathon. The intention of that was not just for people to donate, which we greatly appreciate. The intention was that we provided like our services that we offer under the three brands that I own so that we can work. I just want my team to work. I just want to get work so that our DJs, our musicians, our technicians, our photographers, our videographers, our producers, our editors, uh, our, uh, all these individuals who are putting so much effort, but we don't have enough paid projects, uh, that they can work, that they can get paid, that they can provide for their families, that they can, they, so they don't have to worry about the bills at the end of the month. So they can just focus on being creative and doing what they love. So when I mentioned the GoFundMe, please do not uh, confuse this with a typical GoFundMe. We're just saying work with us or support with us in any capacity that that is within your means, within your interests, and and all that stuff. You know. So that's that. I think we're reaching the point, honestly, where I can do the unveiling of the shirts. I've been super, super excited to do this. So. And I genuinely have not opened this yet. Oh, by the way, let me see if I miss any guests yet. Have I gone through everybody? Let's see. So we did John Ensemble, Dr. Laurel Gray of Silk Road Dance Company, Ava Abadi from Ava Performance Art Group, Shahina Samadi, Tabea Atkins, Amira Khosavon, Varta Aryaban, Shabnam Rezaei, Rachel Kashif, Kian Hassan Khan, Hassan Khan from Kian the One, uh, Siamaki Kahramani, Diba and Damon Roosbeer from Tadikers. Yeah, I got you guys. Bitai Milanian, Nazanin Noor, Tara Grammy, Andi Madadian, Shayan Ibrahim, Athena Bulbulian, which is Mahbube, is going to be coming in, Payam Banifaz, who's going to be coming as Mr. Esfahani, Fereidun Farandus, Ardaran Mufid, Hodai Kord, Mar Jobrani, uh, Nusha from Nusha Dance Company, Sahar Togian from Iran Untold, Sahar Goshiri, uh, Kimya Mohammadi, Nasser Ovesi. Oh, and I'm missing two freaking amazing rock stars. Two of our DJs that are going to be there for sure is my boy DJ Kia and DJ Damun. I was saving the best for last. These are my OGs. They're going to be providing some great music during the interim times. Um, there's definitely a few more that, I th that are in the works. I haven't fully, fully confirmed them yet. And this list is just going to get sexier and sexier and sexier as time goes by. And I've been holding this because I want to give a shout out again to Kafa. This is one of our awesome sponsors. If you love uh, Armenian coffee, and if you, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you if you uh, if you like the, and these are like a press kind of coffee too, but he also has instant coffees. And so I just want to say thank you for them. I hope that you guys check it out. If you have any questions about this, please, please, please uh, let me know. I'll connect you with the people. But 
I'm not a major, major coffee drinker, so I don't want to act like uh, I know coffee, but I've definitely tried, which one was it? He only has like 10 coffees a day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I usually just get an espresso. <laughs> he but, just had five shots. But, oh yeah, actually it was this one. Well, anyways, I mean, they're all good. It's all different about coffee, but the point is for me, uh, I, I just appreciate the fact that there, there's brands that I want to associate with. And actually now that I'm here, let me give a quick shout out. Wait, sorry, quick question. Math of John, Saturday, March 20th from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yes, ma'am. Uh, and you're in Chicago, so it's 11 to 11. Um, oh, look, he even sent me like a nice little coffee um, stir or what, what it's called. Um, speaking of like sponsors and collaborators and fellow Unite and Conquerors, uh, shout out to my boy Arin Movsesian, uh from Classic Bakery. Uh, we're actually working on something very, very special to uh, create more promotional material for them. He's going to be coming into the studio on Noru's in D.C. And he's going to have a showcase of all the different desserts and sweets that they have. They're based out of uh, Gaithersburg and Tyson's Corner in Maryland, Virginia. And um, and he's going to be the gata bread. So that's going to be pretty uh, pretty cool for, for us to kind of help promote that. I think you guys will uh, really love what they're all about. Uh, a, f a family affair of bakers and just a class sack of a family, you know. And so I, I appreciate him always supporting our Noru's events. And I support uh, them as much as I could in return. And that's all that I ever look for. I look for ways that we can support each other and help each other. I cannot work with somebody if I don't believe in their mission. I cannot work with somebody if I don't believe in their vision. I cannot work with them if I don't love them, if I don't respect them. But if I do have all those four, then they have the entire support of my entire team, 120%. You know what I mean? So that's the only type of relationship and collaboration that I ever want to have with anybody whether it's work or personal, it's uh, a mutual love, a mutual respect, and a mutual support. So, now that we did this, it's time for the big unveil, guys. It's absolutely time for the big unveil. I don't want to put this down, I want to put it over here. We are about to open up the box. I promise you, I have not seen these. And so, um, if it's not perfect, I apologize, but don't worry, it is gonna be perfect because Jeremy is awesome, Custom Inc is awesome. So we made a, a bunch of different shirts. Um, oh, they're so excited. You're just opening it now for the first time? Yeah, yeah. It really? Yeah, dude. Oh, man. This is, the, this, this is the big unveil, as they say. Big unveil. So yeah, so we, we created multiple different designs. And actually, this is a good time for me to mention something. Um, if you guys have noticed the flyers for the celebration of No Ruse, um, it's like blue and white, and there's like a little bit of green, and there's like a little fishy. Uh, there's a little bubbles around. and the 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 creator behind the concept of the design not the final design because it's not what he wanted it to be so i can't i don't want to give him full credit but my nephew parsa uh he's the one that kind of helped come up with it and then it got to a point where because of size and stuff like that we had to make adjustments and then i was running a little bit out of time so i kind of had to take it a little bit different direction but the general concept behind the flyers and this is all parsa and so i just want to say thank you parsa man i love you you're an incredibly talented uh, designer, uh, excuse me, artist. Oh, actually a designer too. Um, and so I appreciate you putting your talents into making this flyer and this, these shirts happen. And we decided to come up with a multitude of styles of shirts, t-shirts, v-necks, um, hoodies. And hey, hi Kimia, thanks for joining girl. Uh, I was just talking about you, I think. I mean, I, I was, I don't know if you were listening. Um, so yeah, so this is going to be pretty exciting. And again, when you see these, if you like these, one way you can support is by ordering through the custom ink shirt. And honestly, I priced them extremely fair, extremely reasonable, so that it can be affordable by all, enjoyable by all. And, and that's it. So it's taken forever to do this unveiling. If anybody has any questions, let me know. All right. Oh man, this is so cool. Oh yeah, and, and I purposely got like a wide range of shirts. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I personally got, uh, purposefully got a wide range of colors and styles to show you that anything is possible. There's literally hundreds of options. Oh man, this is so exciting. The only shirts that I've ever bought beforehand uh, were like work shirts, like for EE Night Out. Oh, by the way, this is also custom ink hats. Um, this is so cool. I'm gonna go with blue first just because like that's where the main flyer color is. So here we go. You guys are about to get the unveiling for the very first time. 
Hold on, can I get some drum roll, please? Actually, don't do it. It's going to make too much noise. But this is one of the t-shirts I can see. I haven't fully seen it myself. I'm going to show it to you guys first. So this is the front. Are you ready for this? Oh, I like that blue. I'm blue. Da, da, I really da, like that blue. Da, 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 yeah, da. that looks anyway, good. So, so this is blue. So you, know, you see the front right here. You see, of course, the outline of our beautiful homeland of Iran, the celebration of Nowruz 1400. Now, is this, is this the European cut? Like... <laughs> The large one is like a medium or something. That's a great question. I'm gonna have to ask Jared, but one of these is yours. I ordered one for you too. Oh really? So awesome. here comes the back. Again, I haven't seen it. I'm showing it you guys first. Wow. Go ahead, read it, uh, Anush. The celebration of No Rules 1400, a 24-hour live stream, Saturday, March 20th, 2021, in support of family, love, life, unity, growth, culture, music, art, dance, history and breakdancing <laughs> <laughs> can you can you can you read the in support of one more time please in support of family love life unity growth culture music art dance and history that's it need i say more <laughs> listen it, it either resonates with you you freak with this you vibe with this or you don't and if you do i really hope Sanam, you like to love the color, love the design. Oh, June, I love that. Hey, I appreciate that. I already got somebody said I love the design. That honestly makes me happy. And you know what? Can I tell you one more thing? It is that nice. I think is it beautiful? is really good. Where do we buy them from again? Oh, Math of June. So if you go on the YouTube link, which if you're on Instagram, you click on the, the bio. Uh, the first link is the one that's right now on YouTube. You can click on that one it's in the description. It's a GoFundMe link or even in the YouTube live stream link that's also in my bio on instagram uh you'll see a link to the go the, not go fund me excuse me it's a custom link like um uh shirt shirt link where you can just go over there and then you can go ahead and order it uh any size any style i'm gonna keep on showing you guys all of them this is amazing like i'm so excited jeremy it's it's the quality is great i appreciate you what's the other question please don't forget to send the link uh sanam june if you are on my instagram page go to my bio click on the link tree and then both of the top links that you see, if you go, it goes to a YouTube page. Inside that YouTube description, you'll see the link to purchasing straight from Custom Inc. Again, it's super, super cheap. Like with shipping, it's less than $30. Now, I will say one thing, uh, and, and this is just how group orders work, you know. Uh, unfortunately, like, I mean, you, you'll get these basically, they get shipped out after um, Norus, you know, and the reason is because as a group order, that's how we kind of made this whole thing happen. So like we all order and then we're all like one big group and then we all uh, place an order on the 20th and then you guys get it. So you won't have it uh, immediately, but look at it this way. Uh, but less than two weeks afterwards, you're going to check in the mail. You're going to see this. It's going to remind you of a wonderful Norus two weeks prior, you know. So uh, I hope that you don't get deterred by the fact that you won't have it by Norus. But I think that this is something you guys can wear and share and enjoy for a long time to come. And I would really, really appreciate seeing people like buying this shirt and like that's that's just love, you know, like consider it like a ticket to an event, you know, it's 25 bucks. I think the, um, it depends on what size, style and whatever, but I made it so affordable. It was less about making profit off this stuff rather than building a community and just kind of like bringing this all together so we can tag each other afterwards and wear it and just, you know, just kind of be like, hey, we're there together that day. So one, one other thing that I want to give a shout out to Parsa. How many uh, rays do you see, Anush? How many what? How many rays in the sun? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those represent the half seen. Half seen. Half seen, <laughs> you know? So that's, that's how creative my freaking nephew is. Um, Where's the goldfish? <laughs> I'm going to add the link to Loudoun County Moms. San Anjun, of course. You can add it to any link, to any group, anything. I appreciate you. So anyway, so this is like, for example, the blue. Now let's kind of uh, dump these here. This is also a t-shirt, same exact thing. Okay, let's switch up the color a little bit. Uh-huh, here's a, a crew neck. I'm sorry, Ooh, not a crew neck, v-neck. V -neck. V neck this is, I think, the female one. Um, and again, you can go, you can get male, you can get female, you can get youth. Uh, oh, look at Mona. She says, I buy them for my whole family. Mona, I love you, girl. Uh, that's what I like to see. Anush, the shirts are being enjoyed. This is like the happiest moment. It's a nice moment. shirt. It's a nice design. Freak, and the colors God just, bless you, Mona. And God the bless colors everybody who's like out. about this stuff. And, and again, friendly reminder, please, like, 
share 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 this event if you're on Facebook share it if you're on if you're on the YouTube link share it if you're on Instagram share it follow my page uh, every time we put something up please share it share it save the post you know the, the algorithms of Instagram nowadays is who's sharing that little little flare the arrow button you know who's sharing it and who's like saving it that's how it shows up in more people so like we are at this uh, preliminary stage where it's all about how strong we are here when we're small you know but I like a small and strong nucleus because that's how you build a strong foundation and what we want as a community is a strong foundation once you have that you can build an empire above it so let's build an empire together okay an empire show, of good. Show, show the Persian uh, no the other side I want to give you a fun fact for our non Persian friends tell me if they are looking to find the map of Iran and they don't know where it is look Look for a cat. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 cat I, with many kittens on the way. Anush <laughs> loves cats. You know. uh, but but you know, speaking of animals um, or mammals, I guess. Like look, this, like this fishy is also this is a Parsa signature oh, thing. Oh yeah, you know? I saw like the fish. it's just. That's what it is. Oh my God! Look at this. Mathab just bought ten shirts. Oh man, Mathab Jun, you're incredible. I love the love, man. I love the love. We got rose. Dude, I even like that color. This is actually, I know my mom, my sister ordered these actually. So is that for girls or for guys? This is for girls, but actually we do have uh, tank tops for men too. Arta, yeah. my boy, bought it. Actually, shout out to my boy Arta Salur from Monday Noosh Podcast. He was the first two that actually bought the shirt, so that was like incredible. You know what, actually right now, how cool it would be? I want to refresh the custom ink shirt. What if like it says like, Okay, no, no, no one has bought them yet, but as soon, I, as soon as I see the number two, so these two were actually bought by Arta, so really appreciate it. And he got the, he, he's the one who's like, hey, Iman, why can't we get the men tank, to tank tops? And then Jeremy immediately updated it, and now we have male, um, male tank tops too. So uh, this is Rose. Look how cool this is. And, and the quality, honestly. I that is going to sell touch, in South Beach. Touch the quality. Yes, touch the quality. <laughs> be, and be honest. No, I know. I, I, it looks like, it's, oh, really? Yeah, see? I love this it's quality. It's super soft. It like hangs on your body so nicely. Yeah, just be careful with the camera. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Well, yeah. So it looks good. So yeah, so so even this color combination came out wonderfully. I'm loving this. Boom. Oh man, I'm so excited, guys. Shit. So this is like a beige one, uh back going to like I think it's a male shirt. Mm -hmm. The beauty is no matter what color it is, they really come out nicely. Like the complementary yeah. colors are great. This is a regular shirt or crew neck, I guess. And then this is the blue ones again. Yeah, black I really one. like the blue ones. Oh, uh, yeah. Black one. Black. So I think I already mentioned that the black ones, they come in. Uh, like, you can get them in all different styles. So this is like uh, V-neck. Oh, oh, man. This is a hoodie. This is my hoodie. Look at this. It comes in a freaking sweater, too. How awesome is this? <laughs> this is it. That's for DC. Yeah. <laughs> man. That looks good. Bada bing, bada boom. I mean, that's pretty cool. Jeremy, you've done it again, man. Custom Ink, you've done it again. Let me give a major, major shout out to Custom Ink. It's already a, a super recognized brand, but much love to Custom Ink. So yeah, so feel free to you know share this, um, share this link uh, to friends and family. I mean, again, this is there's so many ways that you can kind of just be a part of this. You can buy shirts, you can send shirts to your friends and family, you can go um, share the Facebook event invite, you can go share um, the YouTube links, the actual live stream so they can set a reminder and they can subscribe. Um, let me see if I have any people right now that have any questions that I can answer. Where we at? I want to give a shout out to Derek and Basant that are helping right now and moderating the chat. There's Amy. From California, I think. Let me refresh this. So but while, while we're here, if you guys have any questions, uh, if you have any thoughts, who are you looking forward to see at the celebration of Nowruz? You know, like, uh, don't be shy to tell me who else you think should be a part of it. Um, there's so many people that I'm going to really start inviting after my interview tomorrow with the Pahlavis. So uh, I really have been bogged down with that. But come tomorrow afternoon, we're going full steam. Seven straight days of nothing but bringing on more and more awesome people to join hands with, to unite with, so that we can conquer uh, properly with. 
and it's going to be uh, a real treat guys it's going to be a real real treat uh for those who don't know the the language is going to be mostly english i don't know you know uh it's really intended for people that um are primarily outside of iran and not but I, but i'd love to have people inside iran obviously but um you know I, I, there's a lot more people that would connect with what we're doing if i did it in english versus like farsi and my goal is that for those of us who don't have the fortune of raising being raised in iran that at least we want to do two things we want to still be connected to being persian wherever we are in the world and also those of us that really do want to stay connected to being persian we want to make sure i think maybe i, I don't want to speak on behalf of everybody but one we want to make sure that like we pass on the stories the legacy the history the culture the traditions the language the food the music the dance and we want to make sure that every freaking non-persian knows how badass we are how badass we are as cool nice humble hard-working family-oriented loving people that want to live peacefully that want to project love that want to have a lot of dancing and celebrations um you know we we, we don't we don't want we want what every human wants you know which is peace which is love which is health and so that's really what we're fighting for that's the only fight that i want to be involved with and so join me in that oh god bless you uh, yeah. Anush, if you don't mind and um you know for the remaining uh, few minutes i feel like i've been here for like an hour now if there's anybody thank you so much if there's anybody that has questions thoughts if i'm missing anything what more information can i provide you all with you know like what what can we do to make the program better i keep on saying this consider this program as yours as yours as yours i have um, a suggestion the secret recipe for Sokol's iced tea. <laughs> she would never. So, so please, um, also, if you have friends uh, or Iranians around other places of the world, make sure you let them know, too. We really want to be able to reach out beyond the U.S. as well. So, um, you know, again, this, this, this is like, think about it. Are there any other programs that you know? Actually, you know what? Excuse me. If they all, if you do have another program that you think that like, hey, Iman, actually there is this other event, send it to me. First of all, like I give so much props to anybody that is doing anything uh, for Noru's, especially virtually. I mean, it's a lot of freaking hard work, you know? So like, I don't look at it as competition. Like God bless anybody that is uh, outside of Iran or inside that is doing something for us Persians. You know, like as long as we're celebrating somewhere, and that you're enjoying it and that you're like appreciating the program uh that's all that matters and hopefully it's with us but if not with us then we hope that wherever you are and whoever you're celebrating with that it is truly a day that you can um reflect on what was a very crazy 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 year and so that we can all come together and just hope for a much better 1400 slash 2021 and um on that note ladies and gentlemen um Oh, hey, Atavajan, how are you? Wish you could have this in Iran. Yeah, I mean, hopefully some people can have filter shake out and they can use it, you know. Um, so, Mahatav Jun, she's saying, announce the big the timing in a big graphic invitation and tag us so we repost it on our pages and tag others. If you give me the info, I will make the insta invite post for you. More programs to get young generation involved. Okay, so 100%, uh, we're going to provide it for you. Um, Basant, if you could please make a note, I have to reach out to our lovely friend Mata. She, we need to make sure we give her the flyer because actually, what we're going to be doing tomorrow, now that I've made this whole big un unveiling of who all is involved, tomorrow we're going to be sending, um, we're going to make a flyer that has all the confirmed guests uh, and entertainers and stuff on the program, and then we're going to keep on adding to it. So I'll definitely send that to you. That'd be great. Um, so Sanam, you're recommending more programs to get young generations involved? Yes, absolutely. So there's definitely going to be multiple components of this program. I would say 10 to 15% of the program is really geared towards children. Uh, and I think that's a, that's a good balance, you know? Like, I feel like anything more than that, it would be deterring everybody else. So in the 24 hours, we try to sprinkle it uh, around. And what we are also going to be doing, for those of you who are wondering, we're going to be putting out the timeline uh, very soon. Uh, so that you know people kind of know what to expect when in case they want to kind of like space out their time um, But hopefully we get to be in your living room on on Noru's, you know And you just have it playing in the background 
if, if nothing else, just literally have it playing on your iPad so, so that it can help with our view count, view hours. Like we really need to do that. We want to get to monetization. Uh, like I have no qualms in saying this. We're trying to get our YouTube account to monetization so that we don't have to constantly ask people to support other ways. Like that's literally all you have to do, subscribe. We get more views and then we can get to the point where there's some uh, revenue coming in that will only be used to go right back into, thank you, Anush. I keep on looking over there because the camera's like, <laughs> uh, that's going right back into, into our program. Like I, everything that's coming in is just gonna keep our team busy. And what are we gonna be busy with? We're gonna be busy creating content like this, you know? Um, Let's see. Uh, Mahatav Jun says, "I would, I can give the, uh, to Chicago Persian School and our event planner too." So, so let me just say one more thing. Actually, <laughs> if you are part of any Persian organization, let me repeat, any Persian organization that you think would be willing to share this message with their email list, that is probably one of the biggest things that you can help do. To have them post it on their Facebook, have them post it on their Instagram page, at least their IG story, have them uh, send it in their email blast. I mean, if there is a cultural Persian organization, okay and that maybe even normally does events and all that stuff but this note was because of all the circumstances because of limited resources they don't have that okay so what, what can they do instead they can support another individual or program that is doing something you know so that at least their followers have are aware of what's going on and then it's just a matter of you telling them what it is that we're doing and hopefully they they they, they like what they see and they would want to share that information with their with their followers so um that's that pretty much but feel free to keep on providing feedback opinions ideas um help us out in any shape or form i mean like i think to a lot of people we come across a lot bigger but my main company is an entertainment company and i'm not sure if you know or not but the pandemic affected the entertainment industry a little bit you know we didn't have any events any weddings any any concerts hence no income and I've just been doing whatever I could to just keep our core team together so that we can s try to do something. And I'm just so grateful that we've made it this far. And I have to thank a lot of people, but Brandon Panic and Anush right here, like are two of uh, the several people who have sacrificed a shitload of hours, sacrificed a lot of potential income that they could be making with other people in different places and i will never forget this which is why i know that when we get back on track these are the people that are going to get taken care of these are the people that are going to say okay it was worth it because you know it, it, it we're good now you know and we're going on exactly one year from the moment that everything was shut down and so um we've gone through a lot and like i just hope that now the the winds will churn churn and we change and we we will continue to get busier and we get to support other people's missions and vision people like the awesome uh Mahtab who's who has a few really great organizations that uh that she's creating and running it's just amazing how many things she's doing uh for persian community especially in the chicago area and those are the kind of people and organizations that i want our team to support to work to have their events be successful you have to understand that i come from a very interesting um situation right now like i have 23 four years of experience of doing events and concerts and trust me i have learned the good the bad and the ugly i have lost a crap load of money uh and there was also events that were successful but a lot was learned and now i want to take those experiences and help other people that are concert organizers event organizers nonprofits, and considering everything we've been doing last year with regards to these live stream events we now know the know-how, the experience, we have the technical expertise, the resources, the people to help you produce even a live stream event, you know, and, and the next year or two is still going to be a lot of live stream events. I think that's going to continue to happen regardless of what happens with live events, which means that we've been able to get a head start on this. And when you work with us, we get to consult you. I get to advise you. I have your best interest in mind. We want your event to be successful. So we get to use our experience in live events, more than 3,500 events, weddings and concerts I have under my belt with our team. And we do productions like this. So whether it's uh, live streams or podcasts or whatever it is, I mean, like the point is that like we could be your ideal partners in crime and that's all we want. We want to be able to work with you so that you can achieve your goals. If you have a message as an individual, as a brand or as an organization, we want to be the vehicle that helps you get your message out to the people so you can make the impact that you want to do and have on the world. And we just want to be able to be the people behind the scenes that help you uh, reach that because there's absolutely nothing 
better on earth and to wake up every single morning, do what you love, and actually be able to make the impact that you want to have on the world. And our team, our team's job is that. So like for us, it's like times one million. Do you know what I mean? It's like we are not only are loving what we're doing, but we get to help other people love what they're doing. And so by, by, by association, we get to have the gratification of all the amazing things that you guys are doing. So um, that's that. That's, that's our little thing. That's United Conquer. And just so I can close it out with those who don't know our other brands, we have another company called Exclusively Entertainment based primarily out of D.C., Maryland, Virginia. Entertainment, lighting, the best DJs. Uh, we're going to have DJ Dalmon and DJ Kia performing at the live stream next week. And then we have Night Owls where we do photography and videography for events and weddings. So obviously, Exclusive Entertainment and Night Owls have been significantly impacted in the past year, but we will come back. We will make a comeback. We will dance together. We will party together. We will capture your moments together. Uh, and then in the meantime, here we are. Here's Unite and Conquer. We do live streams. We have conversations. My podcast is called Awesome People. You can go to awesomepeoplepodcast.com. You can join the community by texting at the number that's going to pop up shortly when Brandon does his magic. And so um, that's how we can communicate. That's how we can grow our community. And that's how we can uh, make life a little bit more enjoyable as we go through it day after day. So um, again, if you're on YouTube, please like, subscribe, ring that bell. If you're on Instagram, tell your friends all about us. Go follow the Let's Unite and Conquer Instagram page. Um, and I think that's all, ladies and gentlemen. Salam John, really appreciate your kind words. And uh, that's it. So as a closing note, please uh, click to share, the, share the link of the live stream to your friends and family. Feel free to go check out all the shirts. Uh, get, get shirts for your grand, grandparents, your father, your mother, your grandparents. Um, you know, all that stuff. And um, wow, that scared the hell out of me. Um, <laughs> sorry, my, the audio and my thing. And um, Custom Ink, we have the, the shirts and hoodies and all that stuff, all sizes, all styles, all colors. And then we do have the GoFundMe page if you guys just want to go and, and, and look at the packages that we have to offer or make any kind of contribution to keep our team busy. That's great. And if you're on Facebook, make sure that you click going and then share it. Please send it to like 100 of your Persian friends or 10 of your Persian friends. Um, and again, you can text me at 202-918-3376. Hashtag faith. I think we have everything co covered. Anush, Brandon, anything else? Happy New Year. Happy New Year in <laughs> advance. So yes, yeah, so just join us please next Saturday, March 20th from 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for 24 hours straight. I uh, really appreciate every single one of you for joining us tonight, listening, and cheers to you. Much love. Have a great night. Shabchosh. Oh, maybe I should actually click end of here.